it's Desiree. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be watching the season 2 premiere of Love, Victor. And I am so beyond excited. Now, I... Let me take this off because the glare. I'll pick this up later. <laughs> now, I watched season 1 of Love, Victor on my own time when it first came out. And I absolutely loved it. I love Love, Simon, and I love how they made a spin-off show, Love, Victor. And instead of it being um, a white lead, it's actually a minority lead. I love the concept. Loved it. Um, I remember the entire first season, I kept calling it Love, Simon, but I feel like I finally got it down. I feel like I can now remember Love, Victor. I feel like I shouldn't get that mixed up now. Sometimes I might. So, I'm so excited. Season 1 ended off with a cliffhanger, and um, I want to know what his... Well, I mean, I watched the trailer. I don't think I put up the reaction for it, but it's fine. Um, I did film a reaction, but I think I just ended up not posting it. But in the trailer, you can see that Victor's mom is very hesitant about like she doesn't accept Victor meanwhile Victor's dad does accept him which I did say that I loved how the roles were reversed because normally when people come out the mom comes around a lot quicker than the dad and um also I was saying the actor who played who plays Victor's father also played it one day at a time and if you watched one day at a time then you would know when Elena came out in season one he messed up really really bad and then in season I believe two or three he like tried to redeem himself I don't know if you've never watched one day at a time go watch it the first three seasons are on Netflix and the fourth season's on pop you know what don't even watch the fourth season it's not worth it it was literally only like two or three episodes came out and then we got hit with COVID and then they just decided to cancel the show again um so don't even waste your time. It ends off at season three. The season finale of season three is the series finale. So just take it like that. Um, but yeah, I was just saying to myself that I love the show. I don't know. I feel like maybe it's just I don't find them. But I feel like I don't see a lot of shows where it's like a male gay character. I see a lot of TV shows with like female gay characters and I mean like there are shows that I've watched where like it's sprinkled in there like um High School Musical the series we have Carlos and Seb um I was just watching Cruel Summer and I binged that in one day I absolutely love it hope it gets a second season and in that show they have um Vince and Ben and just like a couple shows it's like sprinkled out but never the main character um I also love how with the spinoff like I mentioned earlier this main character is a minority who comes from a religious background he's Hispanic and if you know anything about Hispanics we are very religious so I just love how it's a contrast to Love Simon where I love Simon everything was kind of like how you would hope you're coming out to come besides the fact that Simon was forced out but like as far as like the way his parents took it um so I just love how it's like a total different contrast because it's a lot different for minorities um I know I sh I know I should not be adding another show to our list of TV shows, but I have, um, I think I solidified the list. I think I solidified the list. So, if I have, I'm going to put up the list of shows that we're going to watch. What's at the top, we are going to watch and we are going to finish, and once those finish, we are going to continue watching the ones that are towards the bottom, but I will probably be jumping around and posting whatever. Um, yeah. Alright, hi guys. So, sorry to interject. I just want to quickly go over what is going on and get you guys up to date because I filmed this video back in July and it is now September. And that list that I made was also made back in July when I thought I had posted this video, but I never did. So, I, this is my Notion, which is behind me. So, say hello to my Notion. This is just a second a page in my Notion. Anyways, if you scroll down to here... This is my very, very messy, unorganized video timeline. None of this is in order because we are currently at September 22nd and all this was supposed to be posted and it hasn't. So 
if we come up to my content calendar, this is everything that is in current order. So today I want to try to get this video up to you guys and two more videos as you can see. And then next Wednesday, I want to try to upload Wednesdays and Sundays because they're my only days where I have no classes or no work. But I don't know how that's going to work out because when I'm not, those are my free days, which I should be taking to edit instead of posting. I don't know how it's going to work out, but eventually you guys will get these videos. So we are coming up on October and I really, really, really want to do a Spooktober, which is basically I watch October Halloween TV shows in the month of October which really is only going to be one TV show because I really, 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 really want to finish and watch Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. So that is what all of this over here on Fridays and Saturdays are. I don't know how my Wednesday, Sunday schedule, so all the WandaVision, High School Musical, Young Royals, my Morning Skin videos, how any of that is going to come out. But as long as I get all of Chilling Adventures of Sabrina up in October, I will be a very, very, very happy camper. And then we would come back to this hot mess in November which would also suck because Hawkeye comes out in November and I haven't even watched Loki we don't talk we're not gonna talk about it anyways so basically what I'm trying to tell you is this is the rough sketch of how my editing and uploading schedule is going to go I am not 100% sure that it's going to happen because I am a very 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 busy person now um but I'm gonna try my hardest so cross your fingers and wish me luck if you guys just get random videos enjoy it if you don't get videos for a really long time i'm sorry um i know it's it's making me mad that i keep pushing this off because these are videos from back like last year maybe like 2020 2019 i have these videos just like backed up so eventually we will get around to uploading these but with that being said i'm gonna stop talking and let's get into the video <laughs> um and i wanted to watch something i didn't realize that they released the entire season at once i was expecting like weekly episodes i forgot i believed if i'm not wrong i think they had released weekly episodes during season one because there was like a setback in filming and they were still filming by the time it was time to come out or something like that. I don't know, but I will be watching these episodes weekly or you guys will be getting these reactions weekly or something like that. I don't know. Just I'm going to take my time with this. So hopefully I don't see any spoilers um, on TikTok or Instagram. But yeah. Okay. So the title of the first episode is Perfect Summer Bubble. As summer break comes to an end, Victor grapples with his family's reaction to who's coming out. So I'm guessing we're going to skip a couple months because right when we ended off, we, if I'm not mistaken, it was the winter, um, what was it? Like the winter, why am I blanking? It was like the winter dance or something. So I'm guessing we're going to be skipping all those summer breaks. Um, yeah. Oh, as far as the characters, let me pull it up because I need y'all to know where I stand with the characters. I'm going to go, like, rapid fire because I want to get to this. All right, starting from the top, I'm just going to do the, the, like, teenagers, not the parents. I don't care about them. Starting off from the top, Victor, love him. He's my child. I will protect him forever. Michael Cimino, a god sent gorgeous man. Um, Lake, do not like Lake. Oh, okay, that's why. I don't care for Lake. I like her. I think she's a really good friend. I think she was very, very, very shitty to Felix in the season one. I do not think that they should have ended up together at the end. I do love Felix and Pilar's friendship, but I do know that there's an age difference. It would have been weird. I'm glad to see the friendship. Hope it happens this season. But honestly, I really would have loved if we ended off with Felix. I'm sorry, with, yeah, Felix not giving in to Lake because he, the entire season he gave himself over to her and she kept shutting him off so the one time she apologized and did like a grand gesture he immediately took her and I would have liked there to be a pushback and him to be like no I know my self-worth now you have to wait would have loved that 
Benjamin, also love him. He's my child. I will protect him forever. Right up there with Victor and George Sear, a godsend. Also, very good looking man. Mia, Mia is my homegirl from another mother. Okay, love her. Love her. If you watch This Is Us, she plays young Beth on This Is Us. I love This Is Us. I love her as young Beth. I think they casted her perfectly. Watch This Is Us if you haven't watched it. Um, I do think that they did Mia very dirty season one. They threw so much at her with Victor cheating because they didn't break up before he kissed um, Benji. And her and um, Mason Gooding's character, Andrew, having a thing. And then on top of that, her dad. Don't even get me started on the dad drama. When we see her dad, I'll stop and I'll talk about my few things towards that. But her dad is a straight up asshole. Felix, that is my child. I love him. I think he is so cute. Such a good man. I want him. Love, love, love him. Andrew, I did not like him in season one, but he actually redeemed himself for me in the final episode when he overheard the conversation between Gen Benjamin and um, Victor, and he didn't, like, say anything besides you need to tell Mia because it's not right for you to be dragging her along, and that's when he redeemed himself for me because the entire season I freaking hated him, um, and I love how he wasn't like, I'm gonna force you out, or I'm gonna hold this over your head, or I'm a black man, or anything like that, so I really, really appreciated that. Pilar, that is my freaking girl, yo, Ooh, I need to see, I don't know, if you know what Pilar and Felix's friendship name, ship name is, down below, please comment. Because I love them. I love them. I very low-key, like, ship them. But the cast members have said themselves, like, the the character's age difference. It would have been weird. And it's just not going to happen. But very, very subtly, I'm still rooting for it. <laughs> Who cares? Dating somebody a year older than you. There's nothing wrong with that. Aiden, which is the younger brother, which I hope we actually get to see more of him this season. I literally forgot that they had a third sibling. So, yeah. Anyone else? Anyone else? I think that's the main cast for me, so let's get into it. I've been waiting all year for this. Nope. No girl back to Texas. I don't think you even I understand. Brooks blush. I ended up connecting with this girl Mia, and she's great. Sexuality is a spectrum, right? You think you can print a good word, link, kind of have Also, thing? also, I meant to say this, but I, I forgot, I forgot. But when he said that, it just reminded me. So, I don't know if we're solidifying Victor as gay. I believe he's bisexual. Because, like he said, love is a spectrum. And I do feel like there was genuine feelings there for Mia. And there was one scene in season one, if I could find it, I'm going to put it up. But wherever the freak he was, if you look at the lighting in the background, it was the bisexual flag colors. So, that's why I'm thinking he's bi. Obviously, he had more feelings for Benji but I still do believe he did have genuine feelings for Mia like romantically but so I think Victor's by I don't know about y'all but he did say in the finale that he's gay I don't know I'm not even gonna label it you know what be free do who you want date who you want I don't care what are we doing now? Because you did whatever the hell you did with dad's boss, which made it I forgot hard about to that. Okay? I'm sorry. One thing about teen shows, I hate, I hate when the parents, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I hate when the parents get like an entire storyline, like plot and everything. Because we're supposed to be focusing on the kids. This is about the teens. Why, why do I care? Why do I care that Victor's mom had an affair? Hulu. I mean, obviously I care because it has to do something with him. It's going to affect him. But also, you're really not relevant. This show's for the kids. It's, it's about the teenagers. But whatever. I can take it. But with a show like this, it is understandable because his family is going to have a big say in this. Mom. Dad. I'm gay. During Pride Month, period. Oh, I need the subtitles. Are we going to pick up exactly? Thank God. Thank God.
god I was worried about this I was worried that we weren't gonna pick up exactly where we left off okay I'm sorry I need the subtitles so I'm so glad that's exactly where we're picking up oh look at Pilar I'm not gonna start crying it's only two minutes in oh I love you. And she thought he was cheating. I totally forgot about that. And how do you... How do you know? Well, Dad, I kissed the boy. This? When did you decide? I didn't decide. I just... And it. Right. I'm sorry. That word. I'm sorry. That triggered me. I know he's... I know he's not... He doesn't mean it offensive. Like, he's just trying to put the puzzle pieces together. But that triggers me so bad. When did you decide? I never decided. Never decided. It's always been here. I just, it took me a minute to realize what it was. And then when I did realize what it was, it took me a minute to accept it. Tell people, it's a lot. Girl, I don't know if I could do this. I feel like I need somebody to hold my hand. Oh, God, I Mom, you can say something? Oh, yeah, because she did I say think, um that we should get some rest oh wow we can talk about it tomorrow oh okay <gasps> no bitch don't start crying <laughs> i mean you can't expect them to immediately just like it's it's a lot and especially they just told them that they're gonna divorce it's a lot to process but you should say something <laughs> Oh my god, look at the new theme song! Ten weeks later, okay. Let's do it, catch me up. Hey Simon, happy last week's summer. I thought I'd give you the end of summer update. Things are still pretty weird with my mom. I mean, she knows I'm gay. I even told her that Benji's my boyfriend. Oh! Hey, you headed to work? Hey, tell the Benji Meister I said, stop. He's telling <laughs> Benji me to stop having a boyfriend into nicknames. Benjamin Button. Benjamin Ben, I like that one. Ben Bendido, I like that one too. I'm so glad to see all the gays. You aren't Instagram official or anything. Oh my god, I loved this last season. It's kind of good. Stop. We're in our own little summer. Stop. I can't, I can't, I can't. I, listen, season one, when they did that little scene where they were just, like, so, like, into it each other, but they didn't even know it, loved it. Also, Benji's ex, literal trash, so I'm glad he upgraded. <laughs> For me, uh, we haven't actually talked since the dance. Oh, she's a camp she counselor. second school ended to be a camp counselor in North Carolina. Caroline, hey, put your tongue back on. Not that kind of camp. I just really what kind of camp is that? Hey, so school starts Monday. We should probably talk about what we're gonna tell everyone. Mm. Yeah, I know. All the perfect oh, summer bubble. I'm ready. No more hiding. Honestly, no more it's hiding. like who mm -hmm. cares? Like none of y'all business who I make it out with. Period. Can we do it on Saturday? Me comes home on Sunday and I love you guys, but me is my best friend and if she's still mad at you, so am I. Oh, he's before homos. Understood. Oh, oh. No, so can we do after dinner? Adrian's going to my dad's and mom's making pollo gisado. Ooh, love a pollo gisado. It's heaven on rice. <laughs> it really oh, is! Oh, but he hasn't been there you yet. Have been over to Victor's? No, not since we started dating. And now since that hot ass mess of a birthday party. <laughs> okay. Well. Hi guys. Hi. Oh. I'm Marley. Mia. Welcome home. You told me you weren't coming till tomorrow. Yeah, well we packed up the bunks at the uh, ARL, so we decided to drive home today. Let me talk about it now that we're here. Harold, Mia's dad. Do I like him? Not at all. Not at all. And you know what? I'm going to explain why I don't like him. And you know what? Actually, I would I would love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments. Do you think the same way that I'm thinking or is it just me? My problem, my issue with Harold is after Mia's mom died, 
Mia has mentioned that he like threw himself into work. Whatever. In season one, she had to break the checks for herself so that she could pay the people that come and like clean the house or whatever. And I think Lake made a comment about how she like dad's out of town again and she's like, yeah, whatever, blah 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 blah. So what bothered me is how he leaves all the time. He leaves all the time. He comes back a couple days, spends some time with Mia. I think she said she like gets her gift and then he leaves again for another couple weeks or a month or whatever. But the second that the second that his relationship starts getting serious with Veronica, he wants to come back home and be a family man again because he has a woman now. And what gets me so mad is the fact that he couldn't have done that. Like, he couldn't stay and be a family man for just his child. That it took him getting into a relationship and having another kid on the way for him to decide that he wants to come back and be a family man. That's my issue with him. And honestly, I don't blame Mia at all in season one for being really really mad at him and being mean to Veronica I mean I don't think she should have been mean to Veronica I think that anger should have been towards her dad and I'm really really hoping that this season that we get a scene or yeah a scene where like she sits down with him and actually tells him like hey I think it's messed up that after mom died you threw yourself into work and leave all the time but the second you get into a relationship and this baby's on the way you immediately want to come back and be a family man and stay and actually be in my life when you couldn't have done that all those years ago. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I feel like it needs to be said. If you like Harold or if you feel differently, please comment. Trust me, I'm not going to be mad. I just want to hear other people's opinion. I don't like him. I mean, I'll give him some room to grow on me. But I want him to address that he wasn't a good parent after her mom died. I'm not saying he can't be a good parent now. But he wasn't a good dad after her mom died. I love the game. I love the game. It can't be bad, girl. Honestly, a dinner, that's nothing. You're going to have everybody else there. Just ask him a couple questions as if he's your friend. As if he's one of the friends. As terrible as that is to say. No. <gasps> no. Oh, you're a real piece of shit, huh? Like, they're not gonna see that. Hey, Mrs. S. Ooh, love your top. Good to see you, Mrs. Salazar. She's a real piece I'm sorry, what? She's a real piece of for that one. I hope she threw the trash out because the second somebody opens up that trash can and sees that food in there. Oh, what happened? Um, listen guys, I don't know what happened, but I went to go check on the food and the stove must be broken or something because it's totally burnt. It's just chicken ash. So, why don't you guys go out get some pizza on me? <laughs> you couldn't have gone with a better lie. I called you like I've been like, off the grid. Oh. <laughs> Aww. I just, I needed time to, to clear my head. Can I come over? Well, I actually at Victor's. Queens before Peens. I mean, you say the word. She's gay like a corporation after Pride Month. I love how they put that in during Pride Month because it's so true. Yes. But also, we're having a bonfire at Lake Lanier tonight, and Victor and Benji will be there. Wait, which. You know, Benji's in a band. He sings and plays guitar and piano, like you. Oh, yeah, piano. Oh. Come on, pi <laughs> That's my girl. That's my girl. Oh, my doggy. Oh, my God. I've never shown Xena on this channel. Y'all always hear me say, my dog wants me to open the door. My dog's opening the door. So, I have a chihuahua. Her name is Xena. I'm going to show you guys her right now. This is Xena. She's a chihuahua. She's nine years old, I believe, or ten. I don't know. My cousin has her brother dog, and he's one year old, younger than her. Because I absolutely love your fruit smoothies. You 
really know your way around a mango. Oh, well, uh, you know, Benji, he, uh, oh. tell me Those are some good so. friends! Those are some good friends! My friends better. Y'all freaking better watching this, because I know one of my friends watches this. If that ever happens to me, y'all better be on the same page as me. Okay? Period. Give me your recipe someday, Benji. I mean, usually that's top secret, but for my boyfriend's mom, don't make an exception. Yeah. <clears throat> I've had too much sauce. Um, <laughs> she's about to sing, so. Oh. I'm gonna let you guys hang. Did Zina oh, yeah, lick me? Victor, if I said I don't feel good, I don't. Oh, that's so embarrassing. Feel good. They have me, okay? a lot more patience than me because I would have had to say something. You're not about to disrespect my boyfriend when it's his first time in my house. That's about you are the number one yeah I was gonna say you are the number one person talking about treat people right when they come to our house but look at you. Heather's only gonna live in my apartment. Oh then I don't want her. What? Why not? I already miss you half the time. I don't need to miss the kill with you. Aww. Let's just return her. Oh, that's so sad. We're not returning her. Not after I just paid all this money for her, but we'll get two takes. No, it's not. Uh, but in between Victor being gay and my dad getting engaged, and Veronica getting pregnant, I just wanted to take the summer. To As you should. Figure. You figure it out? Didn't even come close. <laughs> hey, sorry I'm late. When did you guys uh Steve Danahy's Fourth of July party? <laughs> Weird, right? I'm so not into drugs. I yeah. wish well, I could be times. there for Mia. And you could have called me and I would have came. Lake Lanier? Come on, girl. Why not give it a try? I'm doing the right thing, right? Separation. Yeah, girl, you definitely are. She, she better not try to bring get that relationship back together just for her to try to distract herself from everything going on with Victor. Do you think you ever will? Yeah. Of course. Definitely. He's, a, he's my son. That's right. Who he is. I have to. Right. We both do. I mean, it's just gonna take you some time, which is fine, but don't be an ass about it. Like, ruining dinner. That's so sad because you're embarrassed. Like, I damn, know. that's what my mom's like. I'll have to pretend everything's okay when we talk about how shitty your mom's being. She can barely look at us together. She won't let you tell Adrian that you're gay. You're allowed to be pissed off. I'm sorry. She won't let him tell adrian he's gay we're talking about the same boy who literally just said he heard jumanji is problematic because jack black is playing a woman the same boy who when his parents came last season and he was playing with a frozen doll they were like mm, he's gay you mean to tell me yo what a uh, poor thing my mom has been like with you so much yeah, she sure yeah, as hell has. And for her to be judging, and the separation, looking and real crazy. I forgave her because she's my mom. Right. I tell her I'm gay, and now she can maybe forgive me. Right. The audacity. The Don't tell me she's gonna leave. So please, Mia. Please stay. And they're gonna see you because your headlights are gonna come on when you turn the car on. You drove an hour. She doesn't know where she fits in. Oh, it says, I miss you. I want to be with you. Oh, hey, Mom. How you feeling? I'm glad we're finally going to get to see Felix's life. Like, I know Pilar's the only one that actually knows about everything going on with him and I kind of like that but also at the same time 
at the same time, I wish he could tell Victor. But he knows Victor's going through a lot. Hi. I hear no. some. Benji's my boyfriend. And I like you calling that. Aww. Okay, you guys. That was a really good first episode. I know I paused it so much. But I just, I, I couldn't handle it. I was excited. I was angry. I was all the emotions. I think that was a really, really, really good season premiere. Um, I feel so bad for Mia. Like, I wish, I wish there was, like, another character on there she could have, like, ran to for, like, comfort, you know? Like, she says she doesn't have anywhere, and she, she tried to spend the entire summer finding her place, but she couldn't. She didn't have time, and then by the time she came back, everything is just moving forward without her, and I feel so bad. Um, obviously, we all know how I feel about her dad, and obviously, I'm very happy for Victor, I mean, but what he did was messed up, and he needs to, now that she's back in town, he needs to go to her and talk to her and get everything situated. Um... And it's going to be, like, weird for Lake having to split her time between the boys and, um, Mia. I don't know. Alright. Um, I'm going to watch the second episode, I think, until I have to leave. But I hope you guys like this reaction. Let me know what you guys thought of the season premiere down below. Let me know what you guys think about Mia's dad. Um, what do you think about the whole parent situation? Everything. Let me know everything. Um, I'll see you guys in the next reaction. Bye. Mm -hmm.